Jason Owen here from Play it Software. Today we're going to look at uploading pre-recorded show files over FTP. So imagine you have a presenter who records their radio show from home and you want to allow them to upload their show audio file to Play It Live to be played out at a later date. First you would set up your Play It Live machine and install an FTP server on there. FTP stands for File Transfer Protocol. And then the presenter can connect to the FTP server and upload their audio file. Play It Live can then be set up to monitor the upload folder and schedule this file into the Play It log. So firstly we're going to install an FTP server on the Play It Live machine. The one we're going to use for this demo is called FileZilla. You can download this from FileZilla-project.org. And then click on Download FileZilla Server. Once the download is complete, run through the installer, click Install, and click Close. Once FileZilla starts, click on Connect. So the first thing we need to do is to make sure the connection to the FTP server is encrypted. Go to Edit and then Settings and click on FTP over TLS settings and enable FTP over TLS support or FTPS and click Disallow Plain Unencrypted FTP. Then click on Generate New Certificates and fill in the details. And save this certificate somewhere sensible. I'm going to save it in Documents. And click Generate. And click OK. So now that you've done this, you will now need to allow external connections to this computer which will involve allowing port 21, which is the FTP port, through the firewall. And if you're setting this up on a home office network, setting up port forwarding rules on your router to forward FTP requests that come into your network to this computer. So to configure the firewall, go to Start and type CMD and right-click Command Prompt and choose Run as Administrator. You will then need to type what you are about to see on screen, which will enable the port 21 into your computer, and we're naming this FTP. So I press enter, and it will create this and say OK. And to configure port forwarding on your network router to allow incoming requests, type in ipconfig. And this will give you some information about your network. The thing you're interested in is the default gateway, which is essentially your router. And this is the address to your router. So highlight this, right click, and then we're going to paste this in to our internet browser. So this is the page for your network router. In my particular case, this is the BT Home Hub 4, but it could be anything depending on what the brand of your router is. The instructions for setting up port forwarding is specific to your router, so please follow the instructions for your router or the manual for how to do this. Or you could internet search for the name of your router and port forwarding to get started. For example, this is the BT Home Hub 4 port forwarding is something that you could search for. I'm going to set this up for the BT Home Hub specifically. Back on FileZilla, we need to create a user so they can log in and upload their files. So go to Edit and Users and click Add and give that user a name. Press enter and tick password and enter a secure password for that user. 
Click Shared Folders and click Add under the Shared Folders list and select the folder where the user can upload to. However, if you need to create a folder, press on Windows R and type in the path to the folder where the user can upload to. And then click on New Folder and enter the name for the folder. Then back on FileZilla, you can then select that folder from the list. With the folder selected, make sure that Read, Write and Delete are selected and click OK to save the user and shared folders. On Play It Live, you can now set up a monitored folder for this user's folder. You can do this by going to Manage and Monitored Folders. Click on Add New and enter the path for the folder to monitor. Click on Analyze Cue Points and Update Track Fields from Metadata and click OK. The monitored folder will now automatically pick up changes in that folder. We're about to go over to the remote presenter's computer. So we need to get the public IP address of this computer so the remote presenter can connect. You can do this by searching for what is my IP address into your favorite search engine. You'll see this address here. Take a note of this address as it will be useful for the remote presenter to connect. On the remote presenter's computer, we can use WinSCP to connect to the FTP server and upload the audio file. You can download WinSCP from winscp.net and click download now and download again. Click the download once it is complete. and run through the installer and click finish. From the login screen, select FTP from the file protocol and select TLS SSL explicit encryption from the encryption list. Enter the IP address of the public machine and enter the username and password we entered earlier for our user. Then click Login to connect to the FTP server. Find the audio file that we want to upload. Go and click on the path here and type in the path to my Show Uploads folder. And I can drag and drop the file simply across to the FTP server. And this will copy across like so. Back on the Play It Live machine, we can see that the monitored folder has picked up the file that we uploaded. It was called the Jason Allen Show, so there it is. And we can now add this track to a clock so that it can be scheduled in the Playout log. We can go to Manage and Clocks, add a new clock and call this the Jason Allen Show. Choose my type of track and select the track. and click OK, and OK again, and we can go to Manage and Clock Schedule, and this show goes out on a Sunday at 7 p.m., so select my Sunday slot, and repeat this weekly on a Sunday. Click OK, and you'll see as, as I switch between each week on the clock schedule, the Jason Allen show appears on each Sunday, and click OK. And if I schedule the playout log for that hour on that day, you'll see that show appearing. So every week when that track is replaced in that folder, Play It Live will pick up the changes and schedule a new version of that track in the playout log. If you like this video and want to see more like this, Please click the like button below and leave your comments in the comments section below. To keep up with the latest goings on at Play It Software, you can subscribe to us on YouTube 
and like us on Facebook. I've been Jason Allen from Play It Software.